Well, I'm back in St. John's. Gosh, look at that dust. Welcome to the desert, y'all. Martini and me, we just went and got red out of the shop. Back up here at the car wash that we were at the other day. I got something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm. So it's just me and Martini today. Uh, this poor baby is having some uh, some problems. Since baby May May got hurt, uh, well, this, this smart little dog here, Martini, she knew it. And she stepped back and let me kind of coddle baby May May a little bit more than, than needed, necessary. Well, she let me coddle her for a while. And now baby May May is kind of taking her, her spot, her spot in the lap. And she, baby May May's enjoying all the extra attention, but now baby, now Martini, she's got her feelings hurt, right? And you've been wandering around the camp, not too far, but you've been kind of wandering and either your hearing's getting bad or you're not coming good when I call you. So I think she's kind of a, uh, see Yorkies pout. They hold grudges and the smarter they are, the worse it is. And she is a, she is very, very, very smart. She's the brains of the whole outfit. In fact, she's so smart, she challenges me for boss daily, multiple times. She thinks she can run this show better than me. But her feelings are hurt. And I said, you know what? We're going to go to St. John's today. We're going to go pick up Red. And uh, I'm just going to take Martini with me. So we're having a Martini day, and she is eating it up. Yeah, yeah, that's just what I needed. I wanted some time with my daddy. Ooh, what a do. What a do. Good baby. Well, Kevin, I thought you just got red out of the shop. I did. I spent $4,000 on this tracker. Why'd you put it back in the shop? Not everybody in the comments talks like that. Uh, not you, right? Well, red runs great. Runs great. Except whenever I pull up to a red light, with the air conditioner on, sit there and, and uh, the RPMs would drop. It would drop so far, not all the time, most of the time, that it would stumble. So I called Stan up here at Stan's Diesel Repair and Performance down here in St. John's. I said, Stan, I got a problem. He said, I know what it is. Something needed cleaning on it. Um, I want to say mass airflow, but I don't think that's right. I think that's what I told you before, but I don't think that's what's right. So anyway, I took it down here to him, and I said, I got an oil leak as well. So uh turned out I needed a new oil pan gasket. Wasn't bad, but just a drip here and there. I don't like I don't like nothing to leak no oil. So he fixed that. Guess what this guess what was wrong? I put on a new compressor, uh dryer, uh evaporator core and everything and this air conditioner wouldn't it get right up you see the little blue line there blue is what you want it would almost touch it and that was the very best it would do and i'm a little miffed about it i just dropped i just dropped a chunk of change on this tracker right new air conditioning and everything we're going down the road on a hot day Air conditioner's full blast. Tucker's over here. <laughs> Stan says, how you like the air conditioner? I said, I don't. I said, my dogs are panting. 
I said, I want, I want air conditioner so cold in here, you can hang swinging, swinging beef in the back. That's a trucker term. So, uh, long story short, I don't do long story short. The story is, took it down here. You know what was wrong? A mouse, rat, probably a mouse, had started to build a nest around my squirrel cage fan. Can't show you none of this because it's all up under my dash. And uh, Stan said it got uh, it looked like a napkin was in there. So how does that make your engine stumble? Stumble, can't prevent Kevin. I'm learning too. So if I'm learning stuff, I'm sharing it with you. And I just talked to Stan. It's fresh on my on my mind. He said that the nest caused the squirrel cage fan to work a lot harder. It didn't didn't spin as fast because it's rubbing up against the mouse nest right which caused the air conditioner to work harder because the pressure was higher than what it should have been so this compressor has been working a whole lot harder than it should have and with the reduced airflow the air conditioner wasn't cooling red like it was supposed to. I'm getting smarter too. Um, now this is not the first time I had a uh, a nest in a squirrel cage fan. The black camper van. Uh, I, I had it for 17, 18 years and Eric had it for a little while. Uh, Nomadic Fanatic had it for a little while. Anyway, I got one in it and that was in Georgia. So I don't know how long, well, it had to be in there quite a while. Yeah, it had to be in there quite a while. But uh, when I bought this from Paul in Phoenix, he said that he had to remove uh, a nest out of there as well one time. So the original owner did this to the tracker. Let me show you. So let me show you what the original owner or the last owner did. See this uh, window screen right here? This is siliconed in here. I've never seen anything like it on any of my trackers. The original owner, he had problems with this. And he thought the mice were somehow getting down in here somewhere. But uh, whatever he did, it didn't stop it. So, Frank and Tammy got the big Class A out at uh, Vagabond Base Camp. They're catching mice in their storage compartments underneath uh, their RV. It's getting cold up here, and the mice are looking for a place to get out of the cold. Can't blame them, but I don't want it to be my RV. I don't want it to be my house. I don't want it to be my tracker. I don't want it to be yours either. Um, I really think that this nest has probably been there for a while. But I think I'm going to go home and do what I can. Uh, I've got some spray that I shared with you a long time ago. I still have some. So let's go back to Concho. Let me show it to you. Okay. Martini and me and Red, we're back here at RV Base Camp. My friend Carolyn, look at the job she's doing over here, clearing out around this tree. Now we had a uh, some kind of big cat come here and left a track. I'm going to show you a, uh, a picture of the track that uh, it left. I used a quarter for reference. I think we have a either a very, very, very big bobcat or maybe a mountain lion. And then Carolyn and I, we've been hunting rocks. Let me show you. She's just, she loves to do landscaping. So let me show you what she's got going on here, what she's building. 
building a pathway walkway. Hey, Carolyn. Hi. I don't mean to work you so hard. You're not. This is something I enjoy. She took, she took this upon herself to make this area down here beautiful. I hadn't had a chance to do anything like this since I had my own house, so. Well, you fix it up any way you want. It's beautiful. Thank you. And uh, my friend Debbie, she's a YouTuber. I'll put her channel up here in the right hand, top right hand corner. She's a, a full time van dweller. She's come and stayed here for a few days with us. Ron and Carolyn are still here. And so are my friends Frank and Tammy. I think everybody's getting ready to leave. Squeeze in here. Martini. I hear Tucker and baby Maymays. They're in the house barking. They don't miss nothing. They can, uh, this uh, cinders sounds like uh, Rice Krispie Treats. Anything walks on these cinders, this whole place, those dogs, boop, ears perk up. But, so I don't know if the mouse got in while I was parked here next to this big old pretty cedar tree. I don't know. I don't know how long that nest has been in there. But uh, there are a few things you can do to give yourself some better chances uh, for, for mice in your car or your RV. One is to leave your hood open because these mice, they don't want to build a nest where it's light. They want a dark place. They want a place where they feel safe and where they can hide. And, you know, knock on wood, I haven't had an issue in, uh, in the RV yet. Not that I haven't caught a mouse, but no nest yet. So I believe I'm going to start opening the hood to the trackers, leaving the hoods open here. So I don't want any nest being built in here. There's only one more thing that I know to do. Well, two more things. You can put lights in, out, and under your RV or your car. Because, like I said, they want a dark place. None of these things are foolproof. Let me show you my, my last thing that I do. You, you may remember years ago before I moved up here, I went to a flea market in Snowflake, Arizona. And I bought this stuff, Anti-Rat Pro. Um, now, it says it's a deterrent, but I don't really think so, so much. What it is, is a very strong capsaicin uh, mixture. And capsaicin is the same stuff they use, like the police use in their, uh, their pepper spray. But this is even stronger. So you spray it. How'd that go? You spray it on your wires, and when the wire, when the, the rats start to chew on it, supposedly they taste it, and uh, they they won't they won't chew on the wires. But now I've heard, <laughs> I've heard that uh, they have tested this stuff, um, and some people say it passes, some people say it fails, but they do have a, a I think it's antiratpro.com. You can buy it online, and so it's not very expensive. So anything I can use to help, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to spray down both trackers today with Anti-Rat Pro. Open the hoods and cross my fingers, because as it gets cold out here, all these mice, rats, they're going to be looking for a warm place to stay. So let's hope this works. Well, the video is running a little bit long, but let me get you caught up. Baby's, baby May May's shoulder or foot is not a whole lot better. We're still working on it. And uh, Felix uh, is having some uh, uh, reactions to the chemo. Uh, he felt real sick this year. Uh, sick this year. He felt real sick this week for two or three days. He's doing a little bit better today. Uh, this morning he goes in for uh, for chemo again. 
so uh cross your fingers for him send him a prayer uh he has some good luck though some good news the tumor has shrunk by 20 percent with three chemo treatments so this will be his fourth one today and then they're going to reassess and figure out if they're going to do surgery or not okay well that makes today's video thanks for hanging out with uh me and martini she's down here at my feet uh but i'm going to end this video where this little video right here I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And what? <laughs> and as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. All right, see you next video. Bye from Concho, Arizona.